Brothers and sisters, we cannot be trapped. We can never be disadvantaged. He said all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. We can never be trapped. Trapped? Trapped? Never! was a fire and as the fire burned brother so-and-so was trapped and he died that he was trapped oh if he had known if he had only known the God of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego he would have never been trapped how could we be trapped how could we be trapped he opened the way through the Red Sea. How could we be trapped, brother? Never trapped. Never trapped. Never trapped. We'll never be trapped. Glory to God. Work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to His purpose. It's working for my good. No matter what it is, it's working for my good. It only makes for a greater testimony. Can you shout Amen, somebody?
I don't know. Maybe you don't know how powerful that statement is. I'll give it to you again. I said, faith is not a denial of facts. But it is denying the fact, the ability and the right to control the circumstances of my existence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, 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 my. I do not deny the facts that I have been fired from work. I do not deny the facts that I've got this trouble in my body. But I deny the facts of that firing from the job, the ability to control the circumstances of my existence. It is not going to determine who I become, where I go, what I have, who I am. Can you shout amen somebody? I do not deny the fact that I've got this pain. But I will deny this pain the right to control my life. Oh, the child was born with a brain tumor. That's a fact. It's okay. Yeah. I can see all the results of the tests. Yes, I can see all of that. Yeah, but I deny this tumor the rights of the ability to control my child. This tumor cannot stay here. You will not stay in this body. This cancer has to die. This cancer has to go. We'll read from Romans chapter 8 from verse 1. <laughs> Glory to God. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now stop for a moment. He says there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not according to their senses, but according to the Spirit. They do not say they are weak because they feel weak. But they speak according to the Spirit. They do not think they are drowning because everybody around them is drowning. But they speak according to the Spirit. They walk according to the Spirit. They're not in love with the girl because she has pointed nose. <laughs> Say, I want to marry a girl with a pointed nose. <laughs> that nose may soon pinch you. They're not in love with a guy because he's tall with a V chest. Uh-uh, most poor men have a V chest, brother. It's got nothing to do with the chest. Success is not in the chest. It's not in the chest at all. So I want bow legs. It's not in the legs. It doesn't matter how you walk. There is therefore now no condemnation 
to those that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not according to their senses, but according to the Spirit. There's a reason. No condemnation for such people. He says, God looks at them and says, uh-uh, I got no problem with them. Every time their matter comes up in heaven, God says, no sweat, no problem. No problem. No condemnation, no judgment against them who walk not according to their senses, but according to the Spirit. Read, one, two, go. The wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends whatever he gets. He spends whatever he gets. The wise man saves for the future. The foolish man spends whatever he gets. Like tomorrow is not coming. Listen, the problem is not the size of a man's income. The problem is the size of his mind. The way he thinks. Tell somebody, it doesn't matter how much you receive. Listen, if you follow what I'm going to share with you now, it will make you rich. I mean in, in cash and assets and lands. And you know what I mean now? I'm trying to say in all the things that money can refer to, everything. You see, maybe I should give you a little more story. How I started saving. Okay? Because he just told you that the foolish man spends whatever he gets. He says, but the wise man saves for the future. We were still a young church and um, we have to spend everything. Because, in fact, I also got money from, you know, the friends and others who, who sent me money. All the money we could get in the church was not enough. So I needed more money. And thank God I never had to ask them. But they sent me money. And so we would use money for hiring chairs, money for hiring the place, money for just name it. Follow up, I'll give them money to go and visit, you know, write down the names of all the people who are going to visit during the week. Okay, I'll go on visitation, and then my other folks who go out on visitation would divide all the people who are going to visit. So there's some of you here, I came to visit you. Yeah. So we'll do all that. And we're spending all the money, because there was just not enough. One day, I called the Pastor Tom, who was not Reverend Tom now, Pastor Tom. And I, I called him and I said, uh, he was the one who was keeping the records. So I said, how much did we receive this past month? He went, got his records, and he said to me, 8,000 Naira. I said, so how much is left? <laughs> he smiled. He said, it's finished. <laughs> I said, 8,000 Naira is finished. I didn't even know that we, we, we could have 8,000 Naira. I said, impossible. 8,000? How? What did we do for, with 8,000? He was trying to write the things. That, I was not interested. No. He didn't get my point. My point wasn't give me the list of what we did. I was not trying to balance the equation. My point was, what in the world did I do with 8,000 naira? Dear God! I said, what about the previous month? 8,000 naira, about, you know, somewhere around 8,000 naira also. So I found out that in the last three months, we had had up to 8,000 naira each month. I said, I spent 8,000 naira, God Almighty, on what? This is impossible. How could I have done that? Spent everything? How, how could I... Then I said, now, let me tell you what. 
from this month, you will save 5,000 naira. Hear what I'm telling you. We will use only three. <laughs> Listen to me. I didn't say save three. We will use five. I said save five. We will use three. He said, okay. That month, for the first time, he saved 5,000 naira. We operated with three. And we had some extra over the five. For the first time, we had money. Every time it finished, it was normal. And there was no problem. We weren't owing anybody. So we could have continued. But I said, what? That's wrong. I said, save five. At the end of this month, we had 5,000 naira owing nobody. We were rich. <laughs> that was the beginning. And from then on, I knew how to save. And I would save and save and always save. Because God said, to save. He said, if you are wise, you will save. If you are a fool, you will spend everything. Are you following what I'm telling you? Imagine that you wanted a facility from a bank. They will ask you, how much do you have? Then you say, I don't have anything. I just want you to give me everything. They say, get out of here. <laughs> you have to have something. And from there, I started learning to have something. I saved five, and the rest is history. I kept on saving. I kept on saving much more than I received. Because I determined that I was not going to save 20%. No, not 50%. I will save more. Five out of eight to be saved. What a principle. So principle number one, those of you that you have a house boy and house girl and your housemates look dirty and unkempt, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you are people who work for you and they look like sufferers. I'm sorry for you. You call your house there, Tina! By the time she's coming, she's wearing only dress. <laughs> and you are happy. Come on, clean this place. You are happy. See, look at this. Solomon's servants were well arrayed. When the queen of Sheba saw the men's servants. Huh? Huh? <laughs> say, ah, who is that? Say, that man is my boy. When they see him, the way he is. He can't even walk right. You are happy. See the one that carries your child. You now bitter. You have not had your back today. <laughs> See the way I'm looking at you. When you get back this week, Go and buy them new clothes. Are you hearing me? Your prosperity is seen in the lives of those who work with you. Not on yourself. Be smart. Look at my pastors. Take a look at all my pastors. Yeah, it's important. No, come here. Take a look at my staff. You understand. Yeah. That's the way it ought to be. 
All the people working for you are suffering. You know they said, don't, they, you give them food, don't give her meat. If you give her meat, she start stealing. Don't give her meat. How much meat do you have? You kill a chicken a year and still you will not give somebody any meat. Don't give her meat. Every, every day you kill chicken, you come into the pot and you start checking, checking, checking. Where is the gizzard? Where is the gizzard? They've stolen the gizzard. Oh. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Tell your neighbor somewhere, say, change. been having some fever having some what you know sometimes we catch some people like that what is it I've been having fever having what so, sorry I didn't I... <laughs> what did you say I know I didn't say anything <laughs> some people say some people say uh, the devil has been having fever why are you announcing it? Leave him alone. <laughs> the devil has the answer. So you say, oh, if the devil is having fever, leave him alone. And the devil has been having since Monday. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of them say, I've been strong for three days now. <laughs> You know what the problem is? They don't know what to say. They don't know what to say. Say, I've been strong. I was strong throughout last week. What do you mean you were strong throughout? You're supposed to have been strong in Christ since. Why throughout last week? He's trying to say he was sick. But he doesn't want to say it. So he turns it another way. I've been strong since last week. The eye is painting the devil. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I want to tell you why you find yourself in that situation sometimes. Where there's difficulty as to how to communicate what you feel or what you were going through. Because you have put on yourself the responsibility of saying everything you experience. You think you have to say something, and you don't have to. You don't have to. Do you have to say anything about it? I just want to explain why I didn't come. I was expected to the last week, throughout last week, but I wanted to explain that I was not well. That was why. You have said it. <laughs> so I now said that I was strong. <laughs> they should punish you for not coming because you were strong. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you listen to the Holy Spirit, He'll give you words. Don't premeditate what you're going to say, what you're going to say to try to defend yourself. No, you don't need that. Just plan to tell the truth. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit himself is God. I and my Father are one. Now he says, Oh, I like this. Now, does Jesus live in you? Yes. No. You see, you all say yes. But the Jesus is in heaven. 
We all know that Jesus ascended from the earth. They watched him go in bodily form until he disappeared. And now you say, Jesus is in you. But he's there. When did he come into you? You see, he lives in you by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the conveyor of the presence of the Father. He's the conveyor of the presence of the Son. I like something else that Jesus said. Oh dear, 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 dear. Thank you, Holy Spirit, God. Let me show it to you. Still in this teaching, in St. John's Gospel, 14th chapter, you get to the 20, 25th verse. He says, These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Ay, 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 ay. Do you know what he's talking about? He says, the Father will send him in my name. Can I explain to you? He didn't say which the Father, which you will receive in my name. He said, which the Father will send in my name. Do you know what that's telling you? I've told you for years that Jesus Christ, listen, the Holy Spirit, we call him Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not his name. Holy Spirit is the description of his personality. His name is not Holy Spirit. What is his name? Jesus. He answers to the name of Jesus. The Father sent the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Meaning that the Holy Spirit has come to answer at the name of Jesus. When you call the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost goes into action. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Whew. The Holy Spirit answers to the name of Jesus. He was sent by the Father in the name of Jesus. That's why he said, where two or three are gathered together in my name. He says, they are mine. Jesus said, they are mine in the midst of them. How? By the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost presents himself at the sound of the name of Jesus. Glory to God. How victorious we would be in everything by simply understanding this precious, wonderful, awesome name of Jesus. Holy Spirit answers to that name. He says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. How? The Holy Spirit. So Peter said to that man, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said, rise up and walk. Aye. In the name. What a message. What a gospel. He was preaching to that man. He preached a message to the man. He said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I have. Present tense having, I have. I have. Such as I have. Not what I will get after praying. Such as I have. I have come to have. Hallelujah. Because I'm born again. I have. Such as I have. Liba Katalamande, such as I have. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Such as I have. I am not empty. Oh, glory to God. Such as I have. No wonder we can bless the whole world. Such as I have. I have something. I have something. 
I have something such as I have. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Such as I have. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Such as I have. Such as I have. I'm not empty. I have something. Such as I have. Ay, 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 ay. Such as I 